Do you ever ask yourself why that mediocre dude gets so many women? What is he doing that I'm not? He's not even that great looking. Are you continually perplexed by why that guy is with that girl? I'm going to demystify some things for you today by listing the top 10 mistakes that you are most likely making when you approach hot women. Mistake number one, being nervous around hot girls. This is an easy problem to fix. Nervousness is the love child of overthinking and self-doubt. Picture confidence as your wingman. Channel your inner James Bond, not an anxious intern. Nervousness leads to trouble. Ask anyone who works for US Customs. The thing to remember is that whatever emotion you are feeling is being projected. If you feel nervous, you will subconsciously communicate this emotion and the girl will start feeling nervous also and subsequently move away. Work on your body language. Relax and let the mind will follow your body. You are only able to experience one emotion at a time. Therefore, you can either be relaxed or nervous. Mistake number two, asking too many questions. Women hate this. They do not want to be questioned by you or anyone else for that matter. It's not an interview, it's a rendezvous. What do you think they have been doing all day? They have been answering questions to employers, teachers, parents and that random dude. Swap the interrogation for a storytelling session. Paint vivid pictures with your words. Leave her intrigued, not feeling like she's under surveillance. After all, who doesn't love a good tale? Mistake number three, trying too hard to impress her. The problem here is the societal expectations of you. Let's backtrack a bit to your overall attitude. Remember, the women are not choosing anything. It is you who are choosing them. A girl can only choose from guys who approach her. You, on the other hand, can choose anyone in a club, street, or anywhere. You're not here to audition. You're the director of your own movie. When the career question pops up, toss in a quirky response. The less effort you exude, the more intriguing you become. Mistake number four, not approaching or waiting to be approached. Get this straight, most won't cast a glance unless you are rich and famous. The more interested she is in you, the harder she will try to hide it. Women crave physical contact as much as guys do, but the most they will do to get it is look hot and try to get you to make the first move. That is it. You have to make the move, start the conversation. By making a move, I mean getting out to a club, party or any gathering place, not looking at your computer at home. And stop staring at your phone in public. That stopped being cool ages ago. Mistake number five, hiding your intentions. Are you afraid of what is going to happen next when she actually pays attention to you? Once you put away the phone, approach her and establish a solid connection of small talk. Then you have to tell her your intentions. What would you like to do next? Declare your intentions boldly. Confidence isn't a whisper, it's a roar. Let her know you're not here for casual chit chat. You're on a mission to sweep her off her feet. Subtlety is overrated. Mistake number six, talking too fast. Talk slowly and confidently and in a low, a voice tone. Are you trying to attract her or sell a bad used car? Talking fast seems suspicious, as if you're on a speed date. Getting back to mistake number one, you need to be relaxed. Talking fast means you are in a hurry or worse, nervous. The last thing you want to do is appear nervous. Speak slowly, confidently, and let the conversation breathe. Remember, relaxation is the key. Mistake number seven, waiting for her to make the next move. First of all, never wait for her to do anything first. You have to take control of the game. 
In the dating waltz, waiting for her to lead is like waiting for the microwave to cook a gourmet meal. It's not happening. If you get rejected by a girl, it is not personal. You have obviously made a wrong move. Try to figure out which one. Be clued in to what is working and what isn't. Always keep the ball rolling or she will be bored and move on. Mistake number eight. Waiting too long to make a move. If she's not responding, it's not a rejection, it's feedback. From the moment your conversation began, the tension was mounting and you missed the climax. Or, heaven forbid, you got friend-zoned. Once you're in the friend box, it will take months to get out, if ever. Always keep the action moving forward. Don't be afraid to escalate. It is better to try for romance and fail than to be written off as a friend. Speaking of waiting too long, why don't you take the time right now to like and subscribe? Mistake number nine, being needy. Don't show that you want her so much because the more you appear to want, the less she will want you. It is all about demand. When an item is in demand, its value rises. You must learn to appear to be in demand even if you are not. Women like men who have options. When you indicate that you want her, she feel like she has been selected and somehow beaten other girls. Your message is, I have options, but I like you. Mistake number 10, being predictable. Predictability is the graveyard of excitement. Break the routine. Girls see predictable as boring and boring guys are at the bottom of their long list. Girls want to see new things happening and want to be with guys who make life exciting. If you are wondering how to become unpredictable, it's easy. Instead of doing what you usually do, do the opposite. If you usually ask for her number in a timid way, don't ask for the number at all. Skip to, what time should we hook up on Friday? Oh, I need your number for that, don't I? Perfect, you more or less confirmed a date before you had the number. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Now get out there and stop making mistakes.